Hey folks, Dennis here, and today I'm going to talk to you about a couple of different mounting positions on your Goldwing, uh, specifically two, and in these two positions, one being a suction cup and one that many people forget uh, to use, and which is a very good uh, area to put a, a GoPro. So let's start off with our suction cup. So here we have a uh, standard suction cup mount. Uh, this is a generation 3 uh, mount. I had a generation 1 mount, but of course um, I didn't want to spend the money on a tether and it went off into the woods somewhere. Um, but the new uh, generation 3 is uh, just as good. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, there show you a couple spots that uh, folks like to uh, mount these on. Now first of all, as you can see here, uh, my bike's a little dirty. Um, uh, anytime you're using a, a suction cup mount, you want to make sure that you wipe down the area that you're going to be mounting it to. And, and to be honest with you, if you ride on a Saturday uh, and then you go riding on a Sunday, um, you want to wipe it down again. Don't assume uh, that uh, your um, fairing or wherever you decide to mount this is clean. Um, trust me, uh, ex experience will tell you. But for uh, picture purposes, uh, what I want to do here is just uh, um, show you that, uh, you know, th this, this, this is a standard uh, position that people like to use this mount in uh, on the front of your, your motorcycle. Um, you can also uh, tend to use this thing on your windshield. Um, this is a, another uh, great area. Um, I don't recommend using this uh, suction cup on your windshield if you have a Tulsa windshield like this. Uh, Tulsa large windshields tend to uh, vibrate, um, so you're going to get a little bit of more vibration in your, uh, your suction cup. Um, what's good about the suction cup is uh, the suction cup goes on easy and uh, comes off easy, but uh, you have many different uh, areas that you can uh, uh, mount your suction cup mount to. Um, as you see, the saddlebag, uh, the rear, rear trunk is another great place to uh, put your, your mount. You can put these things just about anywhere you'd like. Um, you know, don't, don't uh, assume that uh, you, know, you use a suction cup uh, mount for just the, uh, the front of the bike out here. All right, our next uh, uh, mount is uh, that I, I, people like to, or tend to forget about, is uh, underneath uh, your bike. Um, you have an area under here that's uh, flat and as you can see here and this area is a great for putting a, a buckle um, mount on here. Now I have an extra one here. We have a tendency to uh, mount our buckle mounts in the direction we want to have the GoPro and that's really a no-no. GoPro extensions um, they have a 90 degree twist in them so don't always assume that uh, you need to go uh, front to back, front to back every time you... And you're also limiting where you can mount these things by uh, assuming that uh, your mount's going to go front to back. So in this case, we mounted the, uh, this uh, buckle clip uh, side to side, left to right. Um, and by doing that, it gives us a little bit more flexibility in how we are going to utilize our mounts. In this case, we just take a standard... Uh, um, clip mount, slide it in there, and we now, uh, as you see, we have a 90 degree twist and a short extension. Uh, it, this allows us to move up and down and uh, side to side. Um, so you can see uh, this is a great, uh, great option. Another option we have here, and I've, I'm utilizing one of my other GoPros to mount this, is a, a, an extension. Um, this is a large extension. Um, we can clip that on there and then, uh, you know, have our GoPro sticking out here in front of the bike. All we got to do is tighten this baby down. Once it's tight, uh, we got a, a really good extension way out in the front of our bike. And what's nice about this is extension is these have holes in here so you can shorten or lengthen this, uh, this type of mount uh, the way you like it. And again, um, 
you know, because of this 90 degree, it allows us to do this. This particular mount uh, you can get on eBay or Amazon for about $4. And the, what's nice about this uh, extension is this extension is um, aluminum. So it's going to last you quite a bit long time. All right. Well, there you go. There's two more spots to uh, uh, mount your GoPro to. Uh, don't forget that. Now, you remember that... Uh, your buckle mounts can go just about anywhere. A favorite spot uh, for the buckle mounts is up here. Now, a friend of mine, what he did, uh, and I will show you as soon as uh, he gets, uh, I get a chance to uh, film him, but uh, he took his uh, buckle mount and hooked it here and then used a USB cable, came out of here, uh, and into your left-hand pocket to charge drilled a hole, drummled a hole in the side of the case of the uh, of the GoPro so that the GoPro can sit up here and as it was filming could be charged at the same time. All right, um, that's it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, give us a yell.